Henry Ford Health is the first and so far only hospital in the system in Michigan to mandate the COVID-19 vaccine for its employees. And workers say it was a long time coming. CW50's April Morton has more. During a virtual press conference Tuesday, officials with Henry Ford Health says COVID-19 hospitalizations at all their hospitals are in the single digits and says they're optimistic that the worst is behind. However, but we have lived this fight long enough to know that the new variants are real and worrisome and they will continue to emerge and surges can happen anytime, anywhere. Henry Ford's president of healthcare operations and COO Bob Riney says vaccinations are the path forward to getting out of the pandemic. Therefore, Henry Ford is requiring all 33,000 staff members to be fully vaccinated by September 10th, 2021. This includes students, volunteers, and any contractors working at the facilities. For health issues, for our patients, as well as co-workers, it's a good thing. Stella Henderson has been a registered nurse with Henry Ford for 44 years and says working through this pandemic is something she never imagined. She, like many other employees CW50 spoke with off camera, says they agree the vaccines will get us through it all. It's a better sense of security. Franny says for employees who qualify due to health or religious reasons, there are vaccination exemptions. Otherwise, vaccines are mandated. Vaccination will be a condition of employment. Riney says he knows there will be pushback from some employees and they plan to keep communication open. He says besides the exemptions, all vaccinations must occur by September 10th and new hires will need to prove their vaccination status. April Morton, CW50 News at 10. April, thank you. Other Michigan-based hospitals are shying away from the idea of mandating the COVID vaccine. Beaumont Health shut down the idea yesterday. St. Joseph Mercy Health says the vaccine is only voluntary for both Trinity Health and St. Joe workers, but it encourages them to get vaccinated. McLaren Health did not comment on whether or not they would mandate vaccines.